Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So as you guys may or may not know, Lebanon has experienced a terrible explosion that has affected their people, their economy, their country, their people in so many different ways. So in order to be the change that I want to see, I will be donating 100% of August revenue from this video to the Lebanese Red Cross. So watch this video, watch this video again, and watch it again and again. <laughs> Share this video with your family, your friends. And just spread the word so that we can raise money to support the Lebanese Red Cross. Also, I just hope in general that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was hard for me to kind of record the video this week because I was in my feelings with everything that was going on. But overall, I hope that you guys enjoy. So this video is going to be a week vlog, vloggy vlog. Yeah, I have been loving these videos and so have I. Just because I could just get in front of the camera and soak my shit. Okay, so... This is going to be a week vlog. Today is Tuesday, August 4th. Um, you guys know that um, after I do a previous week vlog, I just like to take Mondays off just to recoup and get my life together. So, yeah, we're starting the vlog off today on Tuesday. Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And let's go ahead and get started. So, today is Tuesday, as I mentioned. Today in New York... We're expecting Tropical Storm Isaiah. It looks crazy outside right now. And it kind of messed up my whole mojo this morning. Because y'all know I love to wake up early and work out. So I was going to wake up at um, 6.30 to work out. But they said the rain was going to start at 6 o'clock. Is that the rain? It's currently 11.35. Hold on. Oh, that is the rain. <laughs> It's 11.35 and now it's pouring outside. Like, it's just coming down so fast that you cannot even see the rain. So, it's raining outside. So, I'm about to um, go work out downstairs. Um, what did I do this morning already? I edited Wednesday's video, which is my box braid hair care. Um, how I wash my box braid video. So, you guys should have already seen that. If y'all didn't see it, I'll put it up here in the cards. Um... So I'm going to work out and behind me looks a hot mess, but it's okay because I'm going to get it together. <laughs> um, what else do I have to do? Oh, I also want to start creating my boxes for my giveaways in case y'all don't know. I did a 6K giveaway a couple of weeks ago on my YouTube channel. I already selected the winners, contacted them, got their information. So I just have to create the boxes and send them out. I believe I purchased everything I wanted to put in the giveaway boxes. So I just have to actually create them and send them out now. So I'm going to do that today as well. Um, what else did I have to do? Yeah, let me tell you. Yesterday, I went to record. I set everything up to record. In case I don't know, it takes me like 15 minutes to set everything up to record. It's hot because I have all the lights on. I can't have the AC on because I'm scared that my power blows out. So I was just hot and irritated. And then I set everything up and realized my mic wasn't working. So... I didn't get to record um, my videos for last week, my Wednesday and Thursday, my Wednesday and Friday video, um, because my new mic is coming on Wednesday. So, new mic is coming tomorrow. When it comes, hopefully that's a problem. I don't know what it is about the mic, but it just wasn't working. And with my 50 millimeter, which is what I record like my sit down videos with. Um, the camera has to be farther away from me, so it's not going to work with me recording with no microphone. I just refuse to do that. I don't know if it's just me being extra, but I'm like, I'm not recording no video without a mic. So, um, that's that. I still haven't washed my face yet because I'd rather just work out, sweat, and then do my morning skincare routine. I'm also lo running low on products. My esthetician, she has so many orders now that like you have to order three weeks in advance. And I did know that, so it is my fault, but I just, like, procrastinated in ordering my new products. So, my new products, she said she should send out on Friday because she's waiting for my cleanser. I look so weird, but I'm tired. Um, so, 
I'm waiting for my new products and my esthetician. So instead of me doing like my pre-workout skincare routine and then my post-workout morning skincare routine, I just said, I'm going to just wait until I'm done working out and just do one and done. So um, haven't washed my face, haven't washed my mouth. So I'm looking and feeling crazy, but it's okay. Um, my braids, I'm taking them out next Tuesday. But y'all, this new growth is ridiculous. So I'm over it. But at the same time, I just don't want to have to deal with my natural hair. So um, yeah, let me get up. Let me go work out now. And then I'll, um, I'll fast forward some of my workout. And then I'll check in afterwards. Am I the only person who gets earwax in your ear pods? If so, if not, if y'all get it too, how do y'all clean it? Because... Girl, I produce earwax like it's from tomorrow. So these things are always clogged up and I just think it's not sanitary. So I pick it out with my nails. I know kind of disgusting. And then I go in with a Clorox wipe and I clean it out. But I'm pretty sure that there's like a official way to do this. I think if everyone gets as much earwax as me. Yeah. So nice and clean and ready for my workout. I'm sweating. Hey guys, so today is Wednesday, August 5th, and um, what am I doing today? So it's like 5 p.m. Yeah, it's 5.18 p.m. Um, today I had a doctor's appointment, so I just got back inside, but let me tell y'all what happened, because your girl got a little story time. Y'all should know when I'm in this little corner right here with this angle, it's story time when we in the vlog. So, um, story time, real quick. I... I spoke about it on my Instagram story. So if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, then y'all should at Kinesthetic underscore. But your girl got scammed by a black owned business. Okay, so let me tell y'all what happened and then let me tell y'all how I feel. So on June 3rd, I purchased, I made a purchase with K Main Collection. It's a black slash brown owned customized jewelry company. So I just been dying for a uh, uh, name chain and she does like well she does the double plated name chain so I'm like oh, okay and then she had like 46% off during the month of June so I'm like perfect you know save a little coin get what I want support a black owned business etc so I ordered on June 3rd and I believe at the time it said like three to four weeks for like processing the order and then like you know three or four days for shipping or whatever it was so um when I order things, I write things down and I also just revisit them like in my mind. I'm like, okay, what am I waiting for? What should I be expected in the mail this week? So, um, let me turn this way. So I realized like I didn't get it in July. So I'm like, okay, let me give her a few days in August. So I 
wrote her on her like she had a separate page for customer service so i wrote her maybe like a week and a half ago on that page dm like hey i placed my order on june 3rd haven't heard anything like any updates haven't received my order like i just wanted to follow up two days later i went back to check in on my dm and the page is gone the customer service page is gone so i'm like okay DMing isn't always the right way to approach a business, but I figured that since they had a separate customer service page, like it was okay. Page is gone. I'm like, okay, let me email. So I go to my um, email with my order confirmation and I find the email address at the bottom. I email them and the email bounces back. I'll put screenshots in this video too. Email bounces back. So I go to their Instagram page and I think I found a different email address like on the email button email that email bounces back so at this point i'm like okay somebody seems to be playing with me but i'm just not too sure who, i'm not too sure who yet so i'm like okay maybe they got the right one today because i'm just not the one so i dm her business page at caveman collection what's going on outside and um no response but when I originally ordered from her, I posted in my Instagram stories like, hey, just placed an order with the black-owned customized jewelry brand, da 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 She responded in no time to that DM. No time. And it's like, granted, you're probably busy or not. I don't know what. So I put it on Twitter. I said that I ordered, didn't get my order, didn't get an update, um, you know, email, didn't work, um, customer service Instagram page, gone. So... This girl, Ashley, um, wrote me and she was like, oh, like there's actually pages on Instagram that are exposing her for being a scammer. So she's like, I'm like, send it to me. So she sends it to me and she's like, oh, actually there's a few. So if you type in like Kaming on Instagram, the pages come up. If you look at the post on the page, I think the earliest is like early July. So I'm guessing that all of this happened or all of this is being exposed because of like this sale she did in June. So I'm like, okay, cool. So this happened, like, I came to this realization, posted this on Twitter after midnight last night. So I was like, no problem. I'm going to just call my bank in the morning. So as soon as I woke up, before I brushed my teeth, before I washed my face or washed my ass, I called my bank and I um, filed a claim because I'm just like, you're not going to do this. Like, you're really not going to do this. And you're not going to do this to me, most importantly. Because one thing about me is that I love to support black-owned businesses. But it's like, to be a black-owned business, and I'm doing air quotes because on her Instagram page, it says brown-owned. But on her website, it says black-owned. So I was kind of confused because I, I feel like when I think of brown-owned, I'm thinking of indie brands. You know what I'm saying? So if I don't know, if I'm confused by the definition of brown-owned, please let me know in the comments down below. But... Um, from the looks of it, she is a black girl. I'm not sure if she's a mix with some type of like Asian descent, which led to her name like Kay Ming. I don't know, but either way, she tried it with the right one because I, I listen, I'm not here for it. The fact that you're really trying to take advantage of this opportunity of the whole support black business movement and you're basically taking advantage of the community, it doesn't sit right with me at all. Like, I don't care if this is a black owned business, white owned business, Asian owned business. I don't care. The fact that you are you feel comfortable enough to be taking advantage of customers is a no. So after that, I was like, let me do some more research just to, you know, make sure that I'm not being dramatic. Because sometimes when things happen, I do feel like I get dramatic at first. But I said, no, honey, I need to confirm that I'm not being dramatic. So I go to her personal page because it's tagged in her bio of her business page. And she has, like it says, no posts yet. So usually when you see no posts yet, y'all know that means that she will block. But then I looked at the top and I saw it said zero posts. So I'm like, okay, she has an Instagram page. She has followers on her Instagram page, but she doesn't have any posts. But when I had checked her page before, she had posts. So she deleted everything on her personal page. Boom. Then I went back to her business page. And I said, let me do a little quick audit. Because y'all know I'm an accountant and I be reviewing the files. So I look on her page and I'm like... For the amount of orders she has or the amount of, uh, amount of orders she gets, the amount of customers she has, she doesn't really have a lot of client pictures on her page. So that was another red flag because I'm like, she probably posts customers like twice a week, if anything, like customers in her jewelry. So I'm like, okay, cool. Another red flag. So then I look at her engagement on her post, honey. She has 50K plus followers, but on a, on a good day, she gets 30 likes on her, on her post. So I'm just like... The math ain't mathin', honey. It's not mathin'. So, um, 
what else so i went on the little fraud pages to read through and just see because at this point i already know that i got scammed and i know i needed to request my money back but i just wanted to see like what other people were experiencing with their scamation and basically people were like oh they have pictures of her with a new mercedes benz she bought and i'm like girl the business must be booming because mercedes benz honey okay cool um but yeah and also i think her business is registered in new jersey hmm, listen i think that in my past life i used to work for the fbi but we're gonna save that for another video another story time but anyway um yeah she really is out here taking people's orders and i just i feel like two reasons i really wanted to say something about this is one because i'm not out here out in people i'm not out here like you know trying to get at people like that's just not me i don't have the time and the energy for that but when it comes to like businesses that one i promoted like i posted on my instagram story so i'm not sure if anybody purchased from her because of me and people actually wrote me like oh i was interested in buying i was waiting for you to like post your things to see and i'm just like see this is exactly why when i post things i like to follow up because you know people see people are waiting people have expectations from me so when I posted that, so many people wrote me like, damn, I was actually looking into ordering from her. Cool. But at the same time, it's like, one, you're not sending people their orders. So I would never do business with you. And two, um, you're taking advantage of black people as a black woman. So those two reasons, I'm like, I need to say something, even though I was just itching like, Kendra, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. But I just wanted to share it with my Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube community. So if y'all wanted to order from her, if you did order from her and you have a similar experience, then you know what to do because it just isn't fair at all. But, um yeah i'm about to get on with the rest of my day and i'll check in hey later. guys happy friday it's friday it's friday and today is august 7th so um i'm a terrible vlogger as you guys may or may not see but i just always forget to pick up my camera and let you guys know what i'm doing but yesterday i met up with carisha we went out to eat at this place called imani's a black owned restaurant i'll go ahead and put some snaps here so y'all can see what it looked like and what the food was looking like um honestly the food was okay it wasn't anything too like spectacular but it was a great experience um customer service was great the ambiance was great so i give them that um and then we took some pictures yesterday i did three looks yesterday so i should be good on instagram for like the next week or so and today is just like a cleanup day my room is a mess it got into a mess yesterday when i was trying to find outfits and just trying to do life just trying to life makes a mess so today on my agenda i need to um clean up my room i have to pack giveaway prizes so i owe three people giveaways from my 6k giveaway and then i still owe one of you guys a giveaway from a hair video that i did like a month ago but it's okay because y'all gonna learn why probably later in this vlog or the next vlog y'all gonna learn why it took me a while to send things out um i need to um go to the post office and i need to go to zara and h and don't know if i'm gonna do all of that today but that's what i have to do between today and tomorrow today i just really want to clean up do laundry so that tomorrow can be like a recording day i also want to take my braids out this weekend so you guys will see that too but yeah it's friday so we're fridaying i just like to start my weekend off by making sure that i have a good basis for the weekend so depending on what i have plans to do for the weekend whether it's take pictures record videos go out with friends i want to make sure that um my room is clean number one and two i have a solid plan on how i'm gonna do things so that's what i'm doing now let me show you guys my giveaway box because it's overflowing honey okay this is the giveaway box we have hair products oh this does not belong in here. Oops. okay um we have body products we have some productivity things um, we have some skincare in here too, but there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So I'm gonna get two more boxes, and then also this is this is the prize for my subby that won my hair giveaway. It's the dewy. Inside is two hair products. So this is 
her giveaway prize and then these will be split for the other three giveaway winners so yeah. hello guys happy saturday today's saturday august 8th and i just came inside i had a long day let me tell y'all what i did i went to zara i ended up returning the shorts from my zara haul if you guys didn't see that video i'll link it above and down below but my last vlog i did like a mini zara haul showing you guys what i got but i decided to take the shorts back and then i went to the target i got some groceries for the week and then I um, came home and then went back outside. So now I'm home and I'm about to take my braids out. You guys, look at how much my hair has grown since I had these braids in. Y'all see this growth? So I'm about to take it out because it's time. I feel like my hair is dirty. I feel like my hair is like, it just needs some TLC. So I'm about to take them out. I am putting braids back in in not this week coming up the next week so like a week and a half so um i'll have my hair out for a while y'all know i don't like taking care of my hair in the summertime but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna cut the ends and then we're gonna start on braiding okay so i like to cut the ends because i'm not gonna sit here and unbraid all of this like i don't have the sound so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to see like where the fuzziness and like here you guys see the fuzziness and i'm just gonna cut below that so i'm gonna cut like here and i always cut the front first because i feel like if i cut the back or the middle i'm gonna be like oh i have a way to take them out so this is what we have i'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest <laughs> this is a look or no Ow. Is this a look, guys? I'm really weak. I look you wanted to do like box braid bob style. But you girl love her inches, okay? So I cut this side. Oh, that one. Cut this side. I left the back longer because the back of my hair is longer than the front. So, I didn't want to cut too much. Inches. Slapping myself in the face. Inches. They're gone. I'm sad. I really love this hair color. But, girl, it's time. Look, oh, Bob. Hey, guys. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, August 9th. You guys. <laughs> my life. Today's going to be the last day of the vlog, by the way. I took my braids out. And I just um, detangled my hair using... I just detangled my hair using uh, apple cider vinegar and water mix. Because, yeah, I had so much gunk. It was disgusting. Like, in the root of the braid that I couldn't really get out when I was cleaning my scalp. So, I took that out. I put my aloe in. And I just detangled my hair. Put it in braids. And then I'm going to take it out and wash it this morning. Um, if you guys didn't see my video on how I revived my curls after having in a protective style, I'll link that above. But I would highly recommend to check that out if you're someone who you take your braids out and you're just like, okay, what am I going to do? <laughs> um, check that video out. Guys, I'm low-key, like, peeling right now. <laughs> Y'all probably like, girl, what? Like, what's coming on but you guys will find out in friday's video so make sure you guys tune in on friday so my face is very tight right now <laughs> but i'm about to what do i have on my agenda for today today i'm gonna start editing this vlog i'm going to wash my hair so my hair wash video will be wednesday and then my skin video will be friday's video so i have content for the week because of me peeling i can't like you know do too much i can't really be in front of my studio lights so that's that on that and then i um went to apply for my p.o box yesterday i forgot to tell you guys i went to apply for my p.o box yesterday but the post office where i want my p.o box to be closes at 1 p.m on saturday so by the time i got there it was like 1 30 1 45 and they were already closed so i'm gonna go back tomorrow to bring in the requirements for my p.o box and then after that i'll be able to send out my giveaways so the reason I've been halting on giveaways is because the return address that I used to use, like, I don't feel comfortable using it anymore. Um, 
So I just needed a P.O. box anyway. So I said, let me stop being cheap. Let me stop being lazy. And let me go ahead and open one. So after my P.O. box is open and the giveaways will be flying because I'll have a return address to put on there. In case, you know, one of you guys give me a wrong address or it sends back for whatever reason, we have that. So my neighbors are mowing their lawn. So I'll let them have their moment and then I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, I'm about to go to bed soon. But I just wanted to come on here to chat to you guys before I close the vlog out. So first of all august 8th was my two-year youtube anniversary <laughs> and i really just took the day to like reflect and just relax i didn't want to do like too much also last year for my one year youtube anniversary i was in bahamas you know living life ting and ting and this year you know that wasn't possible so i was really just relaxing i posted about it on twitter i didn't even post about it on instagram but personally that is a huge milestone so i was super super happy thank you guys so so much for your continuous support for believing in me when i don't even believe in myself for always being my hype man for always being in my corner for always vouching for me for always believing in me for always trusting in me and so much more i promise to never disappoint and i'm super excited to see what we accomplished in this third year and yes i'm saying we because it's a team effort okay so that's first second of all is that so as you guys saw at the beginning of this video 100 percent of the august revenue for this video will be donated to the lebanese red cross in case you guys don't know there was a terrible explosion in lebanon like when i saw that video tears came to my eyes because i'm like this is insane like i couldn't even find the words to explain it and to think that and to understand how this explosion affected that country in so many different ways is just heartbreaking. As you guys know, if you guys watch my, I spoke about it in my Why We Need to Be Voting video. I'm huge on humanitarian efforts, even though I don't really speak about it much on my platforms, which I do plan on changing, um, like speaking about them more, but there's so much going on and I feel like it doesn't get the attention that it needs. So that's another reason why I want to implement more of my YouTube videos on my Instagram feed. Just educating people because that's something that I love to do. But if you don't know what's going on in Lebanon, I highly, strongly encourage you to do your own research. And I'll continue to share resources on my Instagram as well as my YouTube platform. And yeah, so watch this video, watch it again, share with your friends, share with your family, spread the word. I'll be doing my donation on the 1st or 2nd of September just to make sure we get all of the money because you guys know there's a lag in um, the reporting of YouTube revenue. So I'll do my donation probably on like September 2nd, September 3rd. But yeah, so that's all I have for this video. Today is Sunday. I hope that you, well, you guys will see this on Monday. So happy Monday. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you guys are productive. And once again, if you guys are interested in what's going on with my skin, that video will be up on Friday. So that's all I have for today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And until my next video, which will be on Wednesday, I'll see you guys later.